All right, welcome back. This is M Dog, and we're gonna try to get another quick video in here. And we'll start off here at 3133, and let's see if this spot is still uh, still pretty active, or if it's calmed down a bit. Last time we had such a dynamic time fishing at this spot, so uh, I'm just kind of curious to see what's going on with it. Here we are. Okay. Let's see what we've got on our rods. Okay, so we need to go to Garlic Go. And what are we at here? 21, I think that's fine. So let's go, yeah, let's get one kind of over in this direction, at least to start off with. And then maybe one more, a little more straight ahead here. See how these look. And then our last one. Let's go more where we were going last time. Where's that uh, log sticking out of the water? There. Okay. So just slightly to the right of that log sticking out of the water. That went a little more right, I think, than it used to, but or usually does. But All right, and let's see what we've got in terms of how this spot is performing. We do have some... What, like... What just happened? I bought garlic, but it seems to not have showed up. Hmm. It must not have registered. Holy cow. Seems serious, whatever it is. Wow, over three kilos. That is pretty nice. And again, this one's a little more to the left. Looks like there is a fish on over here. So, so far we're getting, very much so getting small ones mixed in with the markers. but the bite rate still seems to be decent here. Not sure about the size yet.
my Ubisoft games are updating apparently. So really we've only had, well we've had two good fish, two over a kilo at least. almost a marker but these other three have been really small I feel like there's something maybe on that middle one I'm not sure maybe not all right let's go get get our garlic real quick So we've got something to do. We'll be making garlic dough and uh, ground bait while we're waiting on bites. It's too bad we can't jump over the fence here. Garlic purchase. Why is it? There we go. All right, let's make sure it actually showed up. There we go. Okay. I guess we could go ahead and get a couple more of those because we got 10 garlic. All right. So that should be good. And then we'll make some more bream, fake bream stuff, ground bait. to see if my earbuds are on backwards because I'm not sure where the yeah, nope it looks like they're right because it was, sounded like it's coming from the left and in fact it was <laughs> wow we got some fish on here oh, that's a nice one This one at least, I mean, looks and sounds like it's going to be a nice one. Yeah, it's a marker. That fish has been swimming all over the place. It swam towards the shore. Now it's swimming back out again. This could be another good one. In case you missed the last time I was at this spot, Skillful is the one that uh, put me onto this spot, so thank you to Skillful. Clip is 21, is what I'm using at least. And garlic dough, obviously, I'm using size 8 hooks. Last time we were here, this place was just killer. So far, it seems pretty good still, to be honest. So. It's still probably worth your time. I don't know of any better spots right now at Old Berg, especially for Bream. Um, last time we were focused a little more on the right side of the hole. This time I'm kind of spreading them out throughout this hole. I tend to think that probably anywhere in this hole is probably okay. <clears throat> All right, let's get some ground bait going just so we have some ready to go. Make a couple of them here. Not crackers. 
Whoa. Whoa. Sounds like something big, so. I assume it's this one. a nice bream. It fought like a little bigger than it is. Although I guess on this rig we've got 5.4 in terms of the leader. So of course that matters. nice and making some of this garlic dough we could sneak in a couple more points here or there we really need to get back to Cory and make cheese but I just know with this garlic dough we'll probably use it for overtime don't have is corn to make sort of like a tinch mix right now. We might go by by base. If I can figure out a place to go try for tinch again. Just don't want to get into a bunch of grass carp today. Sure, that's yeah, that's definitely over by the edge of the hole, though. Let's see, I could go back up there and try that spot that's kind of like right here for a tinch. Could go down to the pond and try that. I don't know.
cast here. Too bad there's not like a south bridge or something down here. But you could go back, go back across. Or even a little canoe you could get in. Seems like right near that log that's across on the other shore has still consistently been getting at least the highest bite rate. It's like, can we sneak out of here one more marker or something? So everything that I've been hearing about Cory is it just seems like Cory is really slow right now for bottom fishing. I'm just not sure if that's really what we want to do or not. Um, especially since we don't have access to fish pieces yet. I mean, I will probably one of these times just for fun go because the quarry water, it's so crystal clear. It actually just kind of makes for some fun fishing to be able to see the fish come up and get your, take your bait and stuff. And I mean, there's some fun that we can have down there on the banks of quarry. Um, and if we get our hands on some night crawlers, we could at least try to find a couple burbot, I guess, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll still explore it. I'm just, I guess I'm setting my own expectations. It just seems like it's really all about that spin fishing right now. Which it kind of always is to a degree, but with the burbot being healthy at times, that makes it better. This is another really nice one. I always, when I've been in this spot a couple times recently, I'm always sort of wondering, like, how late should I stay? Because this time of morning, you do start to see a ton of little bream. 
but you still occasionally get one of these nice markers. 2.3, that's a good one. Built in as well, so maybe staying till 8 or 9 is worth it. It's just so many of th this size. Whoa. So yeah, we've gotten a couple of decent ones here. Pulled out towards the end of the time. Might just be a marker. So if we search by weight, sort by weight, yeah, nine. I mean, that's still really good. Nine over a kilo. We will take that for sure. It's not quite as crazy as the first time we fished this spot, but. It still seems like it's really healthy and we're not done yet. This is over a kilo. And we started a little late. I mean, we didn't start till what, after 11 p.m. This is when you know it's like, okay, maybe bream time is over. The first common roach of the day came out. The first common roach of the day. Can't quite figure this spot out this time of day. It's like it's warming back up again.
All right, now it has slowed down significantly. Seems like. Let's check cafe orders and let's just go, uh, I don't know, throw our lines in for a few more minutes. See what else we can get into here. I guess the other thing we could do with... Um, Hitting 18 soon as we could. Oh, two tinch orders. One of them's trophy. Huh. Okay. Um. See about bear trying to really target tinch at bear. It's just those. Uh, those grass carp, you know. All right, let me make sure I can make something that's reasonable here. Um, Does tinch mix normally have hemp seed oil? I think just like, uh, oh yeah, we can't do chopped worm yet. Sunflower oil. That might be fine. Okay. So let's try. No, I'm trying to decide if I want to go down to the. Of course, this is. One spot we've tried. It's been pretty good. Um, but I might rather go down to the pond. Even though it takes a little bit to get there and a little bit to get back and we don't have a ton of time left on this video, it's kind of like to check on the pond. Now it was not that long ago that I was hearing that this spot over here was really good for tench. But when we came and tried it, it didn't feel very good. So I might have we might have missed that spot. But 
We could also try it again. But another pretty good night with Bream. Good silver. I was noticing, I think we can buy uh, Red Worm and like Nightcrawlers if you buy them in bulk, which is really expensive for us to do at this level, but it might just be worth it. Did I really have a size four hook on for Bream that whole time? That's kind of funny. Whatever works, I guess. take the clip off. I don't necessarily feel like I need the clip in this in this part. here actually it might not be worth having two on cheese because if the tench aren't here the t then you know it's just going to be really slow and we're going to end up getting grass cart mostly but might be worth having one cheese and then one. What really works down here good is just like the basic stuff, worm and stuff like that. But we'll see. Probably should just get that bread and water. Is that a little grass? Yeah, that's not a good sign.
trying some different baits here. See what, see what we're getting. Spots. This bridge spot is where it's often wise to come here when you first get to Oldberg. Because it tends to always be a hot fishing location. Is that a tent? No, okay. Um, and just the basic, like, bread and worms and some of your basic baits work really good off this bridge. Just, like volume fishing basically whether you're doing float or feeder fishing of roaches and stuff but this cheese has been quiet I think that's just a sign that there's not tench here right now you know let's try doing this oh a little fish on you will occasionally catch roach and stuff on the cheese um, let's try this let's try going a little farther kind of up towards those lilies over there Let's see if anything happens with that before we wrap up here Last time I tried it, it wasn't super hot, but you can go around the corner here and there's a nice little spot for tench as well. Pearl barley seems to be pretty slow here. catch a little bigger one though maggots not doing much
That's an okay uh, percentage of markers since we've been down here, though. Sweet dough? I don't know if I've ever tried sweet dough down here. I have a feeling it's going to be really slow. If anything. Alright. I'm guessing we just found a roach up there or something. Yeah. Alright, let's do a quick test here. We did hot cherry. Let's do strawberry 15 on this one. And... We don't really have just like a generic, I think this, this will probably work pretty good as generic, but only thing that's a little weird is that we have that corn in this mix, but let's just see if these boilies happen to get anything for us. That's interesting. And that was on the sweet dough. That was actually a pretty quick bite. Let's see if that happens again. I want to see if these boilies will get anything, though. I mean, those are the types of boilies that at uh, Mosquito will catch those really big trophy crucian and gibbles. So it's possible. Yeah. Now your room for profit here is going to be less because you're using a pretty expensive boilie to catch. Not a complete throwaway fish, but even the big ones aren't worth that much. And so if you get too many garbage ones. seems to be doing pretty good on targeting the bigger ones um, so if you've made some sweet dough I want to put it to good use it's catching pretty big crucians right now Here goes the hot cherry for the first time. Yeah, and that's fine, although the sweet dough seems to be doing just as well, <laughs> if not if not better.
I think what would be nice is if we could find a a bait and a spot down here in the pond where we could actually target common carp a little bit. And I haven't tried that a lot, but at least in my experience at Oldberg, you end up with so much um, grass carp mixed in that it's um, a bit of a struggle, unless you've got the gear for it. over a kilo. That might be a gibble. Put oatmeal porridge in for a minute and then we're gonna wrap it up. Couple of sweet doughs and one oatmeal porridge. Let's see what happens. Whoa. About fell down on the job. All right, this is our first small catch on the, okay, it's a roach, on the sweet dough. Looks like oatmeal porridge got some Pretty quick action here. Okay. Well, let's go see how we did, I guess. I don't know what we would try to get the common carp with though. Maybe try out some different boilies. Um, I know some of the boilies that have been working really good on bear lately, but I don't necessarily know that that means they would work here at all. Um, but we could try some stuff out. kind of ground bait again with the corn in it and some other stuff.
couple more uh, bream sessions might hit level 18 see if we did okay oh we broke a hundred did not know that we would break a hundred there yeah, those bream do all right okay all right well this has been fun it'll be interesting to see kind of moving forward what we're able to do here um, but as always thanks for watching and I uh, hope you have tight lines and um, yeah, we'll see about next time if we're going to do Old Berg again or maybe um, see what else we can get into. But uh, thanks again.